We can, we can drill, we can drill all we want. The end of petroleum is happening. Are wind turbines a viable option? Of course, like I... Hi, everyone. It's Boondong Bear in the mysterious Tug Hill Plateau. As you can see, there's lots of wind. This is a large wind farm on this ridge in front of me. These are wind turbines at the top of the Tug Hill Plateau. I'm outside Lowville, New York, so check it out. We'll walk a little bit, yeah. Al, uh, what do you guys think of uh, wind energy? Do you think wind energy is a, yeah, walking with Boondong Bear. Do you think wind energy is a real viable form of energy? Or do you think it's just not a good solution? Furthermore, an interesting subject of wind turbines, I suppose, is that wind turbines need some level of petroleum product. So, here I am, Boondong Bear, in the Tug Hill Plateau. I'm going to mow down a wonderful festival. You can see these many wind turbines in the background. This is a large ridge of them. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to get a good view right now, but what do you guys think of wind power? Is it the real deal? Is it going to help our energy crisis with petroleum? Because let's be honest, guys, no joke. Petroleum's running out. We can, we can drill. We can drill all we want. The end of petroleum is happening. Are wind turbines a viable option? Of course, like I said, the bearings in wind turbines are ironically oiled. Of course, I'm sure that could be, we could use some sort of corn or vegetable oil. So, what are some of the negative aspects of wind turbines? What are some of the positive? What do you guys think? I think that wind turbines is a good part of the energy solution, but let's be factual. There's no way that wind power is really going to replace all the stored up oil, all the stored up energy that existed in oil, which was just so many th th hundreds of thousands of years of declayed plant matter. That's what oil was, of course. That's why it has so much energy. Is something just turning a turbine going to produce that much energy? I think it can be part of a greater energy package with solar solutions, with uh, safe uh, hydrogen cells and other solutions. But, ironically enough, speaking of oil and all that decayed matter that built up and piled up in the sedimentary rock becoming oil, you know, one day humans are going to be that. We're going to be buried in the earth deep down and we're going to become oil. Peace out. Love you guys. Here's more footage of the wind farm right here. As we're coming up in the ridge, I'm doing something bad. I'm uh, YouTubing while driving, that's right. But this is better footage of the wind farm. I'm gonna add it. Yeah, now that I'm a partner, I suppose that I'm gonna have to start, uh, start editing my videos a little. So this will be the second half of the video. This is just gratuitous wind farm footage, and I think you can see the wind farm really, um, yeah, YouTubing while driving. The wind farm stretches, what, yeah, that was terrible. It stretches way over there, so there's your wind farm footage. It's a huge wind farm. Some people say this wind farm is, uh, the largest wind farm in the east. Uh, check it out. Love you. Bye. I'm doing something bad. I'm uh, YouTubing while driving. That's 